Hello people of the world, my name is Roostrip, and we're back with Life is Strange, episode 4. So, let's start it then, why not? Previously on Life is Strange. Whoa! You don't know who the fuck I am, or who you're messing around with! Don't ever touch me again, freak! Let's talk about your superpower. What are you doing here, Max? Stop! I can't to Don't save come you. Near me. Not now. It won't work. I know this isn't pleasant for any of us. Miss Caulfield, please tell us everything. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. That's Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Welcome to my domain. Let's find what we want and beat it. Max, you better come check out these files. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. Listen, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank. Being more than a friend. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? No, you don't. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? Ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. <laughs> yep, I say. But dad. Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? This is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Max Caulfield. Hold on. Chloe, you have a visitor. Yep, that was a thing that happened. Hey, it's a crab. That's a that's like a crab at least. Yay. Squat Enix. Squat Enix. Two bikes. I'll pick the blue one. I want. The, I actually have a blue BMX like that. Oh god, the starters. Eroding. Start corroding on the beach. That's. Ugh. At least the seagulls are gonna have a fun time with something to eat. Out for the dark room. Yes, I was born in the darkness. That is why I'm doing my impression of Bane. And there's Chloe. They see me rolling. They hating. Yeah, the seagulls are definitely having a good lunch. It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. It was nice that you sent me actual letters. It's more than any of my other friends have done. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. It's so Max. So pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. <laughs> you deserve the best stationery. Probably easier to write than to visit me. I don't mean that in a bitchy way. Not totally. You probably
probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. Those beached whales are so sad. I yep. kind of know how they feel. At least, I'm alive here with you. Yeah. You're a real survivor, Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. Are you okay to talk about the accident? We never actually have, huh? There's not much to say. Some hmm. prick in an SUV cut me off and I flew into a ditch. Do you remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and... And that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm just happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. What, Rachel you Amber? You mean Rachel Amber? When was the last time you talked to her? Uh, never. I just read about her in the news. I didn't even know her name. You did? This is such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow <laughs> and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. It might be. It might be, but... I'd like to think we can still change things for the better. I'd like to think that too. But I don't have much hope these days. I know things seem out of control, but... As long as we're together... I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe. I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. That was wrong. You're my best friend. Max. Thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word, no offense. <laughs> None taken. It's very offensive saying that, no. Just completely different in its own way. Realistically, if I had a friend, friend who was a, like, was in a wheelchair, I would be the kind of person to push them on it. I'd like w whiz them around a car park or something on it. Just brighten up the day. Pretty high-tech lair. Feels like a high-tech cell. But I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. I know it's hard for them. They're grateful you're here with them. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. Sometimes yeah. I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Pathetic, I know. Chloe, you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive, when you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. <laughs> Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. 
But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh, can you, can you bring me some water? <laughs> Snow globes. Snow globes are taking over. I still can't believe I put Chloe in that chair. You can fix this. Find the photo. I've gone over. I. Oh man. She has to use that ventilator just to breathe. Uh, is it this room? Man, Joyce and William built a whole new bathroom for Chloe. They're so great. That would have cost them a lot of money, though. Max, it is so cool that you're here. Oh, what is there? Okay. Drink up, Buttercup. Oh, man. No wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? <laughs> I wish I could punch your face right now. A podcast? Dude, I am a pod in a cast. Boring. Ouch. It was just a thought. I know you're just trying to help. <sighs> yeah, that's become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. It seems like we were kids in another life. Mm, seems like yesterday. To me, it, it seems like yesterday we were little brats here, watching Power Rangers and Power. destroying the kitchen. Oh my god, <laughs> we covered everything in flour, even my parents. That was so hilarious. <sighs> but a long time ago. You're the only person that I grew up with who visits me. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. You have me. You have me. I'm not leaving you, Chloe. Well, you didn't visit me a lot either. I mean, I loved your cards and photos, but... I know I wasn't around much. No excuses, I'm a loser. But I am trying to make things right. How? Dude, you're not Supermax. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. That's what my parents are for. They love you. They love you so much. I know. My mom and dad are so cute. They always pop in here and make sure everything's okay with me. I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max, the accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks and the medical bills are fucking insane. Can they pay? Can they pay all the bills? <sighs> no way. They keep the numbers away from me, but it doesn't take much research to find out I'm costing my parents almost a million dollars a year. Chloe. You're priceless. Uh, no pun intended. <laughs> you are such a geek. That's why I love you. Of course, I know a geek when I be one. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. <laughs> what do you want to watch? Uh, I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. I always cry at the end. Plus, you know, I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I know. <laughs> you would look incredible with blue hair. Now let's get this show on the road. And you better not fall asleep on me like you always do when we watch movies. I remember, Max. I swear I won't fall asleep. Not when you're here. Not yet. DVD player. Such a draw of a DVD. Oh my god. I made that mix for her when we were 12. Okay, so I take it it's not a natural then. Uh, let's That's... draw. Ah, uh, here's the DVD. Yeah, because in America they have... You have to pay for your insurance stuff yourself. In the UK, you, you don't pay for it in the UK, it's, it's a thing on its own. 
What, did you not need the remote to press play? Okay, clearly not. Just watch the movie all the way through. Now who fell asleep? <coughs> I cannot believe you fell asleep so fast. <laughs> How dare you? I know you were beat down after the day with me. And Blade Runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night. Uh, do, you, do you think Deckard is a replicant? Sorry, I can see you're not wide awake like me. No, I'm sorry I crashed so hard. Were you okay? <laughs> I do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me. You are a bitch in the morning. It's the company I keep. Yesterday was such a blast. It was great seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates, jumping and running through the forests again, it meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. <sighs> Fuck. Um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, can you pretty please go upstairs and get my, my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine injector? It's... Uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, <laughs> my parents keep this wag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. Like a pirate, right? I'm on it, Chloe. Door. Open sesame. Just it's... Shoot me now. Um... They might get their own home taken away because of medical bills. That's terrible. Hey, William. Um, am I bothering you? Why, yes, Max. I love going through bills. <laughs> Kidding. How can you bother me? I haven't seen you in forever. I know. You look exactly the same. <laughs> It's so cool. Good. Or I'd be scared if I didn't look like me. <laughs> of course, you seem more adult now. So what's on your mind? Chloe. I don't know how to say this, but... I'm truly sorry about what happened to Chloe. Me too. All it takes is a few minutes to change a girl's whole life. But she's alive. And she's been a trooper. She is amazing. I'm so glad you're here to help her. And be her father. I'm so glad Joyce is here to help us both. Max, I just hate to think of what would happen to Chloe if I wasn't here. William, I just want you to know that whatever happens, I'll always be here for Chloe. Always. I know you will, Max. So about Joyce. Being around you and Joyce again is so nostalgic. Very old school, as they say. <laughs> I think it's great for Chloe to see you. Makes Joyce happy, too. So it's not all bad news in Arcadia Bay. Or is it? Um, crazy weather. What do you think is going on with all of this crazy weather and animals dying? Nobody knows, right? It is Nostradamus-type shit, pardon my French. But all I actually <laughs> care about now is Chloe and Joyce. My family.
a cavern. I was impressed by Chloe's room and all the high-tech equipment. You should be. We could buy a few mansions for what it all costs. The insurance helps, but I... I don't know, Max. I know it must be hard on you guys, financially. These bills are more like crushing. We have to mortgage our home, and that's pretty scary. But, but we'll get through it. The price is always right. Get it? No? I have to go see if Chloe needs anything. It was so great talking with you again. <laughs> you act like it's the last time. And please, keep me from these bills whenever you want. Victoria. Okay. Jeez, Max is mean in this one. Nathan. Yeah, everything's different. I got sent the same message about the plant again. Right, the morphine injected in the say it was in the bathroom upstairs. Didn't she say that? I can't remember. Um I need a light on. E uh, Probably in this cabinet. The bathroom looks almost the same. Just more medicine. Search the cabinet. Here it is. I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. Yay, morphine, that's fun. That's what Chloe's room used would be. I'm not gonna sit down because I'm just at least we never had to hide from step douche huh. it's weird having it not covered in graffiti I guess we stopped growing up together What are those dates supposed to be? So, 12th of the 2nd, 05. That, that's around Christmas. Is that 2005, Ben? Because, you know, I'm pretty sure this game is 2015. Yeah, it is. Yeah, 2000. On the 6th of the 7th. That was two days before I was born. Because I was born on the 8th. Poster. A blue butterfly? I'm sure this is a total coincidence. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure, like, this... Because my, my birthday is li literally two days after that measurement. Because, you know, America has the things the other way. Okay, I have the morphine. Open. I got you your morphine. Finally. Uh, give me the blue pill. I'm sorry. I'm nosy, but not precise. Go ahead and plug it right in. It's so easy. And painless. Um, 
Okay, but get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust me. I will. <laughs> Of course, my pain just keeps getting worse. But you caught me on a good day. Max, I'm so grateful that I'm even able to hang out with you. See, I'm getting mushy. I'm already high. <laughs> You're so adorable. Do you want anything else? Um, stop me if I'm being too emo. But can you grab one of the photo albums over there? I'd like to check out some old pictures of us when we were kids. Please. My diary is like emo ground zero. Plus, <laughs> Max Caulfield does not pass up a photo op with Chloe Price. Ever. Okay, so where is it? It's over the window. Does Chloe look at the garden and think about her childhood? She can't even feel the grass now. Photo album. No, not the. Despite everything, it's cool that in this reality, Chloe really loves skating too. Loved skating, remember? She can't do that anymore. Okay, photo op, let's go. Photo album. There is the photos. Yay! Is that okay? Perfect. Oh my god, look how little we are there. We look like toys. I remember that day by the lighthouse. My dad was pissed at us. He actually tried to give us a time out. And you laughed at him. <laughs> my dad would have banished me. Turn page. Whoa, awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. There's still time for you. Turn the page. Oh man, there we are making pancakes. There's oh, the photo again. Us. It's hard to believe my dad took that picture only five years ago. Literally seems like yesterday. <laughs> I wish it was. Me too. This photo... Maybe I could... Listen, Max. My respiratory system is failing, and... Uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So, I know I'm just putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along. And I will too. This isn't how I want things to end. What? What are you saying? I'm saying that being with you again has been so special. I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible and you made me feel that way today. I want this time with you to be my last memory. Do you understand? Yes. Oh, I crap. Do. All you have to do is crank up the IV to 11. Ha. It's a, that's a joke people use. Ah, I don't know. I want to do it. No, no matter what happens. I don't know. Chloe, I really don't know if I can do this. I had another friend who wanted to end it all, and I did everything I could to try and save her life. How can I be responsible for ending yours? I mean, th there's got to be another way. Max, you were there for your friend, no matter what. Now I'm asking you to help me the same way. I want to help you, Chloe, but... I, I think my help is hurting. At least you have a choice. When you want to make a decision, you can just do it. Look at me. 
I'm at the mercy of everybody. For once, I want to make my own choice. The most important one of my life. Please, help me, Max. You know what? I'm gonna end up fixing this afterwards, so no matter what I do, everything's going back to normal. So fine, I'll do it. Chloe, I'll but only because I have to save asleep. you again. Dreaming of us here together. Forever. I feel sorry for that other world, because literally that Max is probably going to get put in jail for killing. Thank you so much. I'm so proud of you for following your dreams. Don't forget about me. Never. I love you, Max. See you around. Sooner than you think. I have to do it now or never before the thing starts going boop. I'm sorry, William. I have to fix this. But how do I do it again? Okay, how did I... Um... I did it! Okay, <laughs> I'm just magically doing it. Nope. I'm literally just moving the joysticks around until I figure out one that's in the best focus. Someday Dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Hello? Hey, honey. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Shit, where are my keys? Ah oh, crap, I forgot to look at the butterfly. I forgot to look at the butterfly I left on the You can't hide from me forever. On the thing. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting. Crap. It was probably there. Because tonight your mother promised to make us a world famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? She's never leaving. That makes all of us. Oh. Max, you are being so fucking strange. Like you're never gonna see us again. Chloe, I'm so sorry. I tried to make things different for you. I, I did try. I'm sorry. I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but come on. You have made things different, like, my whole life. You're my best friend. I've got you and a great family. What's to be sorry for? We'll be best friends forever. And when we grow up, we're taking over the world. Listen, whatever happens, I want you to be strong. Even if you feel like I wasn't there for you. Because I will never abandon you, Chloe. I'll always have your back. Always. I have to change things back. Why? dying her hair blue oh that was a t 
<laughs> crash. Instead, it's a party with Rachel Amber. Instead of that, it's that. Perfect difference. Instead of that, it's what researching stuff. Moving a mattress, apparently. I have power to move mattresses. Ah, oh, there's like a whole research thing with files and stuff. suddenly want to kiss me you had your chance I'm just I'm just I'm so glad you're here you sound high but thanks for the morning grope since we were up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together Max did you forget we've gone over this I hope you weren't messing around with time while I was sleeping not anymore I'm just spaced out too Welcome back to the real world, Max. I, I gotta get up. Let's look at the big board and see all our pieces in the puzzle so far. Okay, well, I'm gonna leave this episode here. Leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe for more videos. I'll see you in the next one. Okay.